in the back of this truck is one of the largest pumpkins you've ever seen. We see a huge wooden sign that says Halloween Township, established 1980, uh, with a huge pumpkin um, kind of sitting in front of a, a full moon. Has innumerable amounts of jack-o'-lanterns. But the thing that draws your eye is this huge 20-foot jack-o'-lantern just sitting in the center of the square. A group of like three six-year-old kids who are currently yelling at two teenage boys who are holding a pumpkin on top of their heads, apparently keep playing keep away. The boy holding the pumpkin has, you see the pumpkin turns around and like at the height of which he's holding up the pumpkin, it the pumpkin, the jack-o'-lantern itself is like eye level with you. And we just see the jack-o'-lantern kind of like, he kind of like brings down the pumpkin. And... Uh, hey kid, what's with the jack-o'-lantern? It's our pumpkin, okay? Does not look like your pumpkin. Since I was told not to pull out a gun, I'll pull out my big knife. That is, that's not any better. Like, hey, just gonna carve some pumpkins. The lead youth with the pumpkin. Uh, there, the jack o' lanterns cradled in their arm. You see him grab the pumpkin and smash it on the ground. So can I try to like, I guess trip one of them with my cane? The ones that destroyed the pumpkin. That's not the six-year-olds. Not the six-year-olds, we're the ones with the pumpkins! It's okay. I will happily get you a new pumpkin. I know everything will- One of the friends is like, We're gonna be playing here until like, four o'clock anyway, so if you want to bring a pumpkin by, that'd be In great. In the morning? It's- it's the afternoon right now, 4 p.m. I get so confused. Even though the pieces of the pumpkin are still like, scattering a Rows and rows of jack-o'-lanterns kind of like floating up and like turning on. The doorbell in and of itself, they've changed the little button for it into like an orange little jack-o'-lantern. And it's essentially the folklore that eventually led to jack-o'-lanterns. Um, but I the... forgot the pumpkin for the children. Oh, <laughs> oh you fool. An untouched pumpkin in the decorational, but it is like a real oh. pumpkin. I pull out my knife. If he can have a pumpkin for kids that got it shattered. You yeah. get permission to take one of those pumpkins. Uh, do we want Do we want to carve the pumpkin? Or do we want the kids to carve the pumpkin? You, it might, the kids always just make a mess of it. Now leaving when they see you all kind of like coming up with the pumpkin in hands. Pass by and you see that um, around the giant jack-o'-lantern, there is like, as Ned kind of like lifts himself up, like heaving, <laughs> that there is pumpkin guts kind of like sloughing off of his tongue, slapping the toilet with a very wet kind of like uh, smack. And it's like, it's the stringy orange pumpkin guts with little seed, with the with the pumpkin seeds attached to them. And like the, the toilet is like maybe half full with them. Like, okay, so I know like, like the, the pumpkin spice lattes are a big thing. Is this what this is or is this just a different thing? No, Chuck, this is this is not quite a pumpkin spice latte. I'll get you one on the way out of this town, don't worry. Uh, plus zero, which is a four. Um, so, yeah, he's just going to stick his hand in the toilet and pull out the, the pumpkin guts to look out. Okay. Uh, as you pull out the pumpkin guts, water from the toilet kind of like dripping back in, sloughing with the rest of the, of the pumpkin guts. Um, and you notice that a lot of these pumpkin guts have traces of like intestinal tissue on them. Just stringy pumpkin human guts. The origin story of the jack o' lantern to this orange, like, glowing jack o' lantern eye turns of its own accord towards you. Um, and you watch as vines, pumpkin vines, begin to kind of like curl out of his mouth and pull out. And you watch on the other side, pumpkin guts just like sliding down the wall. And you take a look at it and you see that it, it was a, a pumpkin about this size with long vines that just kind of bits and pieces of it sloughing no. off on top of you and it seems to taste like pumpkin 
and no. from the warm no, light, you like Stop. you look up and you see that oh, like a piece of one of their foreheads has been gouged out by your whip, and it's kind of like hanging loosely, and it just looks like pumpkin itself off of your off of your whip, and you watch like its body sever. And like pumpkin guts just like slap all over your body, and you watch as the arm spheres begin to wrap around into ridged sections. Uh, and at the top, you can see where the stem uh, of a pumpkin would be. Very cool. From the darkness, this 